<laughs> from Ellis Cup, best cup in South Croydon. Best cup in South Croydon, <laughs> come on, man. Damn, <laughs> man, you bring back Lakey, bring back Lakey. I'm like, mate, I want to, but clothing game is it's tough, man. It's hard selling track suits and trying to clear them all out. It's easier doing like t shirts. Car with t shirts, they don't cost as much. People are more than likely to spend £45 than be spending like one thirty, one forty, one fifty 150 on a track suit. It's mad. Some of these track suits that I rock are like from 2017 to 2018 and they're still as good as new because we was making sure we was getting the best quality materials and not trying to maximise on profit and spend on cheap ones because some man would spend like Fifteen pound on a full set and sell it to you for one fifty, and the tracksuit would be mash up. These times we're spending nearly triple on each tracksuit just to make sure we're getting it to a standard of what we want. Because you don't want to give you shit that we don't like wearing. You get me? That's why I laugh when I'm on uh, YouTube watching like a lot of brand owners and a lot of them don't like wearing their stuff. Like, they're killing in the e-com space. But it's like, I don't know. I can't have a brand and not believe in it. You know what I'm saying? I can't be having a brand and you never see me in it. It just don't make no sense. Shopping in the high-end stores only when you're, you're trying to get everyone to buy your stuff. Like, it is what it is. I guess some people see it as keeping distant from their brand makes it go further. I hear it though. Sometimes it works for some people, but for me, it's like, nah, man. I need you lot to see what we're doing, innit? I know where we're at. I'm in a car outside Booker's. I need to go here, then I need to go Costco to grab some drinks that Booker's don't have. Uh, shit. First of the month, rent's due. Pay any landlord, pay my landlord. Rent's due. <laughs> Get me. First of the month, adulting. Today's shop's gonna set me back a couple grand still. Two trolleys of items, a lot of drink. But, what? Should make more than this back this weekend, so it's all worth it, man. Costco now, let's grab a couple bits. So I got some cranberry Casamigos and food for home still. I'll go drop this before I go wholesalers. But what I've clocked is today. Costco's is a lot cheaper, certain things like the juices than the other wholesalers I go to. Apart from the orange juice, the orange juice is more expensive here for some weird reason. But actually, yeah, Costco's cheaper. Costco's got way more per carton. <sighs> boy, here's a switch, boy. It'll run down for the day. Just gonna go to my house quickly, drop my water, drop my food in the fridge, and to east. Hopefully, I could get to east before two, then leave there and get over the bridge before the school run, boy. You don't like that school run traffic. It's the worst. Been on the A13 now for nearly an hour. Silly ways made me go this way. I should have gone left and drove through the other way, but uh, I'm stuck on the A13 for four hours. I could have made it to my venue time ago walking. And 
coming back. It's crazy. Driving the wrong way. <laughs> Driving the wrong way around, boy. This is jokes. On the A13. This is proper jokes. I've never done this, boy. Well, due to the accident. A lot of hours later. Finally had a venue. Emptied out some stuff already. Filled up. I've got a few boxes of Hennessy from wholesalers. There's enough anyway, but I got some more. Ray nephew the same. Tequila. What Casamigos? Just in case. Swirl of vodka, puffy juice, Charlie Slough juice, pause, pause, pause. And yeah, that should be enough. That's everything that was already there anyway. Baller, baller. Oh, what? How old are you now? I'm 27. Flip. I'm here next month. I feel old, you know. That's why you know so mad. I was chatting to someone the other day. Yeah. Let me know what. I was talking about you and saying, you know, younger. Yeah. I was living in America, and bro was saying to you, make sure in the mornings yeah. we do 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, twice, morning and night. At night. I gave one of my young boys his favorite bath. Yeah. And literally, that's what he mentioned to you. Oh, for real? You mentioned me as well. You showed me your Instagram. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, bro. Like, so it's mad, bro. Tell you, a few men have mentioned you to me. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, funny enough, bro. Like, I just listened to bro. Like, bro showed me a lot of stuff. That's the nice. The drunk hire, he showed me everything. You know, you know what's mad? Yeah, the amount of men I used to coach that when I bump into men, I'm like 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I'm like, it's crazy. Everyone's older. Time's flying. Time's bro. flying. Because, like, like I said, to me, because I feel like I'm living life so fast, a lot going on, I'm doing so much things. Mm. I don't really take in all the stuff like, that's kind of happening in life. You yeah. Know? I mean, I do think like everyone always asks me like, why did you do this? Why did you stop you a cold? It's like, bro, it comes with a lot. They think it's all. They it's think it's all fun. rosy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, when I bro, you know what's mad? Like, yeah. a lot of this stuff, being an athlete, your mind's just stuck on that. Yeah. There's more to life. And I'm not, you know, disrespect anyone that's still playing ball, but I'll be real. I'm back on most of my questions that were playing back then or still yeah. playing. Uh, they're chasing the, the, yeah, yeah, there's, there's no five progression. A, month, a bag of money. A bag of money. No way to live. Like so now, yeah. Room. When I stopped coaching, man, I stopped playing ball. I didn't pick up a ball properly till last summer. So I go scrimmage once a week now in Palace. But before that, I didn't pick a ball till last summer. But I ain't played in two months because I had a, a thing called a QL, a QL strain. See me playing ball, I was always chasing after guys that were in front of me, like George, for example. He's yeah. my best friend. Yeah. He was doing his thing of sand what, in Serbia the first year. Yeah, sand, I remember, I remember, 15. I remember. Yeah. So I was always like, yeah, yeah I gotta make sure I'm getting yeah. recognition like him. So I've always had that kind of thing to the point where I didn't need a chase no more. I became that guy, so I yeah. get recognition. Yeah. It was like when I was doing all the right things that I coached Alan put me in position and he's a hard person to get on the side. I had uh, Che get another guy. Yeah. Yeah. Him. Once he liked she like yeah. and I had both of them on my side and they were pushing me, shouting Colleges for me in America, especially Alan, he was doing a lot. Like, he started yeah. dealing coaches to get um, basically their opinion on me where yeah. they could go. And they were giving that. I still got the emails now about yeah. them saying where they could go, I can go. They yeah. were giving me colleges and yeah. AAUs I could play for and stuff. And bro, when I started realizing how he pushed me more than anyone, anyone else, else and how good I got off his words and the way he trained me, yeah. mm -hmm. I was unstoppable. When I started doing all the things he told me to do, yeah. like every game, treat it like it's your last. When I had that mentality of playing against all the guys that were the guys, I was busting everyone's ass. I meant to go to GB, I think it was the last year to play for GB. Yeah. That was the last thing in my head, I've got to get on this team. Because now I'm getting to the age of finally, yeah. yeah. So I did everything I meant to do, me and Ola. Yeah. Didn't I, see, I, see, I see Ola, uh, time to time still. He's always rolling with Adrian. Still playing, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. still playing. Like, he's in, the, in and out of France. Yeah. But I let him, but me and him. Um, yeah. I mean, Pedrack called uh, what's his name? The England coach at the time, you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna say his name, but I called him. Like, wow, where's the guy get their invite? He's like, okay, cool, make them come for a trial. Two weeks later, we go and bark in for a little workout. Yeah. I can't lie to you. Now I'm kind of nervous, I'm thinking, you know what? Yeah. These are the situations that make or break. You better perform right now, you're gonna, you're gonna slack off. It's one or the others. We have our days. 
but I couldn't make that a day. That's yeah. the best I've ever worked at in my life. And I'm telling you, I was going ham. Time I went to the side and started making phone calls. Oh, no. What did the Afima say to him on the phone? Yeah. Uh, you can't register them. <laughs> it closed two weeks ago. When was the trial? Two weeks ago. Oh, that's when I that's when I fall through and I was like, I remember when everyone asked me when I stopped playing basketball yeah. and that was a cut off. That was a cut off point. I was like, I can't keep doing this. After being stuck for six hours, I needed this man. I'm gonna box this off, then I'm gonna cook food. That who knows if I don't sleep early today, I'll eat later. Then food for tomorrow as well, man. In Costco, off ends in Chingford, have to come grab a couple bits quickly. A uh, couple Apple products still. So, yeah, down these ends, far from my local one. But yeah, I'll show you what I grabbed after. Let me roll in there real quick. So I grabbed some bits quickly. That's for one of the mandem. That's for another one of the mandem. Then I bought this for my cousin. It was his birthday not too long ago. So, Ooh. heavy, heavy motion. My friend's 40th birthday, Karen. She wanted everyone suited and booted, so you know. Let's flick, flick on that tuxedo, show them the everyday tracksuit. Let's head out, let's go. Out on a Monday, friend's 40th birthday. Hungry as hell. <laughs> driving through Brixton, so you know where I'm going. Morley's. I miss living in this area, I can't even lie to you. Just the accessibility of things at any given time. You can just get up and go. You feel me? Any given time. But look, going to Morley's on a Monday at like 2 30 a.m. Nice and easy. Sunny Tuesday morning. Oh, last night was, last night was lit, man. 40th birthday party, suiting and booted, you know the vibes. Oh. Had a client this morning, I only slept like three hours. But, see when you don't drink, you don't wake up slow. Had a client, trained her. To stay awake even though I'm a bit tired still. But now got a hygienist appointment. Have one of these every four months. You're meant to do like two a year. But you see me? I can't stand dirty teeth. So Put me in three times a year. They was like, oh, you don't need to come as much. So you think that, but all the sweet drinks and all this crap. It's better safe than sorry. Because when you get all these cracks in your mouth and that, and your teeth, then you start complaining and then it starts costing you. So I'd rather lose 75 pounds three times a year to lose hundreds. Half time. More vlog. You all right? Let Who's me get you on my vlog. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you on TikTok? No, I'm on vlog. You all right? You all right? You all right? What do you want? Usual? Yeah, the usual. Yeah? Yeah, man. How you been? Not too bad. How yeah. have you been? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. Yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, yes, please. Uh, beef sausage, four eggs. How you mean? Yeah. Uh, four eggs, beans, four eggs. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah. Mushrooms. And chips. Both of us now. From Ellis Cup. Best cafe in South Croydon. Best cafe in South Croydon. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I just see that woman part her white bins there. Yeah. She's going to have regrets when she comes back. See that tree right above it? <laughs> 
the birds that live up there. <laughs> they don't play games, man. Thank you so much here. This will be the tune playing for me right now for eating this in the morning. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Yeah, my bag is loaded up with snacks and different foods. Squeeze into this tiny shirt, my big bag has no room. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Let's go grab a suit. Go wait to attend. End of the month. So I need to get it tailored. So I need to grab something new. So let me go down to Croydon. See what blazers available. The black titan. Can't be doing reruns in the same month, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Man, it's always good to have suits though. It's always good to have a few blazers. It's always good to have. You want to go to America, I need to grab my other one from Atlanta. Grab that out of storage and bring that back with me. So quiet in here, but they're going to turn into Westfield. That's where I bought my Roly from. They reopened the store. I'm involved in this first spot to check is always in the next where it's not about the price or where it's from it's how you fit it come by now boy have you got a white one black one and i've got a white one man. Yeah. which this one yeah. yeah do the white one yeah, I've got enough. Yeah, yeah, I wear suits regular. Socks, you know? Huh? Socks, you can't go wrong. Every day, you need five days a week for what? <laughs> I got like, <laughs> I got like ten <laughs> black plain suit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm always good with socks. Or well, black velvet blazer quickly. I'm gonna go to my tailor's now. So my tailor who does all my suits is not too far from here. These have cost me two bills, but eh? God damn. But you know what? Got to look fly, man. It's your people's wedding. The joke. I see a man going there. He's like 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, Huge. I'm trying to find a, a suit for tomorrow. I swear he's probably going to that event, the gala. You know, a joke that is last minute. You can't be last minute with suits, man. Eh? Need at least over a week, man. Get your tailor to tape that shit. How are you, bro? A long time. How are you? I'm good, man. Need another one. <laughs> you know my issue with jeans and blazers. Everything always has to get taken in. This is the fit of the blazer for alterations. Eighty pound to alter, you know. My God. <laughs> yeah, tailors costing me too much every time I go there. Jeans and that is cheap, but it's suits that always cost me. <sighs> See this life, or this is what happens when you're in V shape. You're never gonna get anything that fits properly. More than Leon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I sport my tick proper. Hold <laughs> well on, Jody. You good? Hey, what is it? House music in there? Nah. That's why I hate Brixton. Either side, you got these silly plant pots. So, where my people live, the area where we grew up, I can't drive into their old block just due to these silly pots. Craziness, man. The one is from China. As of right now, we're moving everything over to China. China just went better, faster, cheaper, better quality, prices, work, they work harder. I don't know, their mentality, they're on a different level, man. These Chinese geese, they don't sleep, they just work. Car wash. I'm gonna clean the car, boy. The birds hit me. They hit me hard. <laughs> <laughs> 